Hello, welcome back to my tech fund. YX Polyer sent me two spools for the testing. I already tested their regular nylon filaments without carbon fiber, and it is great material, easy for printing, and fantastic layer adhesion. Now uh, we have here two carbon fiber reinforced filaments. This is PCCF, the polycarbonate, and this is nylon CF15. Probably 15 is the percentage of the carbon fibers inside. The base material for this is the polyamide 6, because they are different type of the nylons. Now on the box I can see that the printing temperature for the polycarbonate is between uh, 250 and 270 degrees Celsius. Now on Amazon page it is between 240 and 260 degrees Celsius. Probably my temperature tower will be between 250 and 270 degrees Celsius. On the bed temperature, again some difference. On the box it has between 80 and 120 degrees Celsius. On Amazon page between 100 and 110. High strength and durability. The temperature resistance up to 140 degrees Celsius. Dimensional stability. This is very important if you print mechanical parts and you need accurately printed those dimensions. And less water absorption compared to the nylon. And a nice glossy surface. About the nylon. The print temperature between 220 and 280 degrees Celsius on the box, but on the website between 230 and 250 degrees Celsius, so a big difference. On the bed temperature between 80 and 100 degrees Celsius, high rigidity, huge temperature resistance up to 194 degrees Celsius, and smooth printing, and properly this is correct because even the regular nylon was printed easily, and in this case the carbon fiber will just help with this, we will have less warping and Theoretically, it should be printed easier. Now, don't forget the carbon fibers are very abrasive, so you need some kind of hardened steel nozzle or something similar. And according to them, the 0.4 millimeter size should be enough. We don't need 0.6, but I suggested them to add this information on the website too. I'm not sure about the polycarbonate, but the nylon is very sensitive to moisture, so the drying is very important. And even the printing I'm doing from the filament dryer. The drying of the nylon I'm starting even now before printing with the polycarbonate. And first I want to check how brittle is this material. Oh, very brittle. I hope it will not break in a Teflon tube. Look at this. I will try with texture PI sheet using the glue stick on the surface. And I have to cover it and it's even quieter now. It's a little bit hard to see through glass, but the start is good so far. It's printing the last element at 250 degrees Celsius, but it is hard to see the details. The printing is finished a few seconds ago. Immediately I want to check the bed adhesion, mm, which is great. I will wait until it cools down. And now let's try to remove it. Mm, thanks to the glue, it sticks good. Well, actually it looks great. Uh, absolutely no stringing, fantastic overhang. Only the bridging is not 100% perfect, but very close to it. Great first layer. So basically I can print on any temperature element and for the better layer adhesion, I print on 270 degrees Celsius. Let's see the settings in Bamboo Studio. The print temperature is 270 degrees Celsius, the bed temperature 110 and 12 cubic millimeters per second is the flow rate and the maximal fan is 40%. The printing is at 44% and it is hard to see through this glass, but the printing looks okay so far. There is no sign of the warping or similar. Last object for the layer adhesion test. The object looks great, let's remove them. Great. I can feel that smell of the polycarbonate. My ventilation is not prepared, the hole is there, but the connection not yet, so I have to ventilate the room now. End of the filament will be glued because it is too brittle and with the bending it would snap if I would use these holes. And now can move to the nylon. This was just short drying, 3 hours on 70 degrees Celsius. Usually I'm printing these nylons out of the box, but let's start with the printing. Quickly check how brittle is this material. Mm -hmm, definitely less brittle compared to the polycarbonate. I cannot break it with bending. This is promising. This is polycarbonate under the microscope and we can see those fibers which sticks out from the broken surface. Until the nylon I couldn't break, just cut with the pliers and with this I just uh, cut or bend those fibers. As I already mentioned, even during the printing the nylon is in a filament dryer. Looking okay so far, there are some breaks because of mineral layer printing time. 
Printing is finished few seconds ago. Bad adhesion check. Ah, it's great. Uh, we wait until it cools down. There is no smell like with the polycarbonate. And now let's remove the temperature tower. Oops. Perfect. And again, this quality is perfect on any temperature element. Great overhang, bridging, no stringing. I think I will print everything on 270 degrees Celsius. Important thing to notice, with polycarbonate even the purge line sticks good, but I don't have the glue stick. Until that, uh, the nylon, it was quite easy to remove it, so definitely with nylon it is very important to use the glue stick on the build surface. And again let's see the slicer settings, 270 the temperature, 100 degrees Celsius on the bed and only 8 cubic millimeters per second the flow and 30% maximal part cooling. The printing is on 66% and uh, looks ok so far. It will be finished in 22 minutes. This is a test object for the wearing test. I have this from the regular nylon 2 and this will be the only carbon fiber version. You will see this test soon on my channel. All test objects are printed but before I start the mechanical testing I will wait at least one week because the nylon absorbed moisture from the air, not only the filament but the printed objects too. But after one week it will be very close to that stable state and then I can start the mechanical testing. After 10 days on room temperature and 50% relative humidity, the nylon absorbs some moisture from the air and it is closer to the stable state and now I can start the mechanical testing. The tensile test with the horizontally printed objects. This kind of irregular surface is always a sign of the strong materials. And now the layer adhesion test with the vertically printed objects. I was worrying that carbon fibers will make this material weaker, but in both cases this is great layer adhesion. And now two sided shell stress with 5 mm diameter object. Very strong and shell correctly in three pieces, only some parts fly away, I couldn't find them. And now my torque or twist test, 6 mm diameter object. And I measured the load at 90 degree angle and the maximal torque. Polycarbonate broke after half turns. Until with the nail on I could make one and a half turn. Much more flexible material. And this is how they looked like after this test. And now three point bending test. This is between supports is 50 millimeters. And here you can see how it looks like when all loads are placed. And I place these loads one by one. Pay attention, the nylon continuously deforms even on the 2.5 kilograms or 1.25. So this means the nylon don't like too big loads. Until the polycarbonate was great even under the 10 kilograms. And after this test, the polycarbonate is completely straight until I can see some minimal deformation on the nylon. But it is also almost completely straight, so it is very flexible filament. And now the creep test, the deformation under the constant load, which will be 1.25 kilograms. And I'm measuring the distance between two reference surfaces. This is the polycarbonate. And this is a nylon. So this is the first day. This is day five. I already measured them. And of course, a bigger creeping is on the nylon. Now I'm familiar with this that uh, nylon creeps under some bigger stress but this is not bad for nylon but this was very impressive. I mean look at this almost no deformation and very close to zero creeping on this polycarbonate so this was really impressive. I don't remember that I tested so strong material so far. Now let's remove the load. After 10 minutes without load Almost no deformation on the polycarbonate, but even the nylon is very close to its original shape, so this means it is quite flexible material. 
And now the IZ Impact test with this half kilogram hammer to see which is more brittle material. And I have the feeling maybe one of these will not even break. Uh, by the way, a little bit off topic. Does anybody has experience with those uh, impact testers from eBay? Maybe I want to buy one. This works fine, but uh, I tried to write some scientific article and once I got uh, the rejection because this is too amateur. I believe this is quite accurate because I have quite good ball bearings here inside the hammer and actually I'm measuring directly the value which I need in the calculation, the height. Because uh, with those uh, classic ones we are measuring the angle and we have to calculate the height and here we have some additional error. Okay, let's start with the testing. Polycarbonate. The zero position. Nylon. Polycarbonate and nylon, as you can see, they are still connected. I was hoping that the nylon will not even break under this half kilogram hammer, but at least I have a measurable data. So let's see it. This is the zero position, and these are the edge position after the breaking the polycarbonate and nylon test objects. And if I measure the distance from the zero position, I will get the age to calculate the difference in rotational energy, which I can use to calculate the breaking energy. And now the temperature test in the oven and they claim for the nylon over 190 degrees Celsius the heat deflection temperature. Well maybe I cannot even record the deformation because my load is a little bit slower than the standard. But let's try to measure, we will see. This is speed up time lapse video and the first deformation on polycarbonate I noticed at 110 degrees Celsius which is a little bit lower than given in the specifications and then I take it out because I don't want to over melt it and then I was waiting for the nylon to deform and when I thought that it will not start with the deforming it started to deform at 196 degrees Celsius it's over 200 degrees Celsius so we stop the experiment now it's deforming very soft currently even after a few seconds it's already hard this is the nylon now let's analyze the data in this Excel table which you can download from my techfun.com website and for my Patreon supporters I am adding this information to that summary table so they can easily compare these results to those from my previous videos. Let's start with the creep test, so these are the directly measured uh, values, distance between two reference surfaces, but what we need is difference between two days and this is presented on this graph. And from this we can see very impressive polycarbonate which almost didn't deform, this is basically zero until the nylon it was deforming even of the fifth day so look at this this is more than half millimeters on tensile test uh, this is very strong impressive for both materials on the layer adhesion test well i always worry when i'm testing carbon fibers usually they are sometimes weaker on this test but in both cases these are very strong materials and of course this is very impressive on share test, again, very strong materials. I think these carbon fibers really helps in both cases. Three point bending test, well, let's jump a little bit. Uh, this is more interesting, where I'm measuring the deformation under these loads after 1, 30 and 60 seconds. And uh, again, on this, we can see very impressive uh, polycarbonate, because <laughs> even here, this is almost horizontal line. This means no additional deformation under the constant load but uh, the nylon it was deforming slowly even under 1.25 kilograms you can check the footage and uh, here basically that didn't stop with the deforming on any of these loads on torque or twist test well the load at 90 degree angle is more important for me and here the polycarbonate was uh, stronger compared to the nylon but it broke after half turns uh, until with the nylon i could make one and a half until it failed Eyes of the impact test, well here actually the nylon was uh, much stronger compared to the polycarbonate. I think this is approximately three times stronger, so more tough material. And on the temperature test, well uh, the polycarbonate, this is a little bit lower than given in the specifications. And with the nylon I got uh, almost equal results which are given in those uh, specifications or parameters. Now some conclusions for the end. Both are great and very strong materials. But a little bit differently. Until the nylon has great layer adhesion, tougher material, so better on the impact test, and uh, it has better temperature resistance. Until that, I was really impressed with polycarbonate, how it resists to the bending and the creeping. So, if you have this kind of applications, this is great filament for you. 
One thing I worry about it, and that's the filament itself is very brittle. You saw if I bend it a little bit more, it will snap into two pieces, so there is a small chance that uh, it may break inside the Teflon tube during the printing. Don't forget, nylon must be dry. And uh, one thing I'm not testing here, I'm a mechanical engineer, I'm testing mechanical properties of these filaments, but according to many documentations, the nylon is better, more chemical resistant, but this is something I'm not testing here. If you have maybe some other experience with this, maybe you can share your experience with us. Until that, thank you for watching and happy printing!